I would like to bring to your attention patent number 1268949, filed in 1918 by Reginald Fezzedin. Most of you may know Fezzedin as being credited with the first ever wireless transmission of the human voice and music. On Christmas Eve, year 1906, Reginald, using an alternator transmitter, was able to send audio signals of himself playing the violin and reading passages from the Bible. A common thread that I have found in my research when concerning inventors from the late 1800s to the early 1900s, like that of Fezzedin or Nikola Tesla, was their interest in spark gap transmission and how they applied it to several fields of science. Fezzedin, as this patent shows, applied electricity to agriculture, which piqued my interest because I've been working on several organic farms over the past few years. If you take a stroll in the garden after a heavy thunderstorm, you will immediately notice that your vegetables seem to have doubled in size. That may be an exaggeration on my part, but there usually is noticeable growth right after a storm. Fezzedin, using an electrostatic generator and a series of aerial wires, claimed he could excel plant growth with systematic discharges of high voltages. Another patent by a Kenneth E. Golden, filed in 1931, used a similar method for excelling plant growth. Like Fezzedin, Golden used aerial wires and an electrostatic generator. The only difference here is, Golden used a second wired grid that was either buried or set on top of the ground. I found this passage in Golden's patent very interesting. A oscillatory discharge is believed to induce a vibratory wave upon the vegetation, and when a certain band of frequency is used, causes plant resonance, or a like vibration in the plant cells. So here we find another common thread with early inventors, resonance. Now this is a very crude build of an aerial grid style antenna for excelling plant growth. We have a basic table shape using 1x2s, porcelain insulators, normally used with electric fences, and a 30 gauge copper wire as the grid. I also constructed a second aerial antenna, which I built for other experiments, but have plans to attach it to this table grid along with a ground rod. These types of experiments will take time and observation. There is no quick answer here. This video isn't really a tutorial, but rather a way of spreading information to those who may have not been aware of Fezzedin and electro horticulture. For me, electricity is the driving force of nature, and I'm always stumbling upon interesting information that I apply to my own electrical experiments and understanding. The story goes that Fezzedin, while throwing rocks in a pond, and observing the effects had the uh, Archimedes Eureka moment where he realized that radio waves moved in concentric circles from a source just like rocks thrown in a body of water and these radio waves if amplified could transmit sound he certainly proved this theory in 1906 now I wonder if he was also right about exciting plant growth with electricity I hope you found this video informative. Good luck with your experiments.